Welcome to a new series of mine. This is this is the first video in the series, you know, because I don't do episodes. I just do videos. But yes, and this is called Turning Funko Pops into Lego. And can I turn this Funko Pop into Lego? And quite fitting, this is was my first Funko Pop. But who is this Funko Pop? Well, it is in fact Venomized Captain Marvel. So yeah, quite a decent one. You know, it's got a lot of detail on it. You know, which is, and obviously a base, because if you look, it is ever so slightly off the ground. So, yeah, to start with, obviously, I think a good place is Venom, you know, because obviously it's venomized. You know, we've got those lovely face detailing on there, we've got the torso detailing. The only problem, well, is it's the legs. The legs will do a bit of work. So, I'm hopping over to the Marvel blind bags and grabbing zombie Captain America. Because, well, if you look on the legs on here, as you can see, you've got a normal leg, but and then a venomized legs. And to be honest, these these legs kind of do me that trick, honestly. Other than the light blue, you know, that's a bit off-putting. It's probably better as black, but I think, really, it gives that good effect. Now, if we look at this, as you can see, one of the arms is red. You know, it's got, like, it's, like, not venomized. Obviously, I'm not going to change the entire hand, but something I can do is change this into a red hand. And make sure you do it this side. I'm personally going to be doing it at this side just so it's accurate to the Funko Pop. You know, because obviously, different sides. So, I'm just taking this random Spider-Man minifigure, you know. And I'm going to swap. I'm going to take this black hand off this minifigure. And I'm going to put the red one in. So, yeah. So, yes. I mean, obviously, I can't change the entire arm, but that is still something to give it a bit more detail in. Now, as you can see, we are missing one piece, and this is, like, this giant thing on top. And, obviously, I didn't I didn't, even, didn't know what to use it until I found this piece. And, obviously, it's just a che white cheese slope, and if you put it like that, that it does kind of give that effect it's not perfect granted but hey i'm not here to make perfect minifigures i'm here to make good minifigures so yeah i think i did pretty well on that one obviously the only thing i haven't managed to succeed is this red tail thing but i just don't have anything red that goes around the hips literally no so yeah so yeah that's how i turned this funko pop into lego hope you enjoy bye